Dan, if you said you do not feel that small businesses are expendable, why wouldn't you want to really put a high level of importance on the economic analysis and make sure we get it right? Because as you just pointed out, uh, the, uh, the, the one that was just uh, put out by Sac State, uh, those professors, they estimate that the AB 32 will cost each small business in California nearly $50,000 and will add 1.1 million people to our unemployment lines. Now, I don't understand why you feel that we shouldn't be taking a real serious look at this because even if it's remotely true that this could be possible, I think I'd be really concerned if I was about to embark on a, on a, on a new regulatory scheme with fees and everything else, I'd want to make sure I kind of got it right. And I don't, I might right now don't have the confidence that it is right. And I'm really concerned that you as a member of the board, you don't seem to feel that some of these small business operators, I'm not talking about the giants, the big boys, I'm talking about the small guys. I don't understand why they don't seem to be getting more of a fair hearing when they're dealing with, uh, with ARP. You know, I, I, I hope I've stated that I, I, I do take this issue very important and certainly as someone who represents many of these small businesses in San Jose and Santa Clara County, certainly understand that the impact uh, that the recession and uh, many of the government regulations is, is having on them. My, my feeling is that uh, that uh, the ARB uh, staff and certainly the board um, takes this whole issue very seriously. Um, I know again in December we will uh, be uh, discussing uh, the new economic analysis. I'm not sure exactly when it is will be out, um, but uh, I, I know these things take time to be able to get the information and to do it right. So I, I, I don't believe anybody is dragging their feet on this. 